Have you ever spotted a big cat in your neighborhood? No, not your neighbor's oversized Maine Coon, but a big cat of the wild variety. You might be surprised to find that this is not as unlikely as it sounds. Consider the tale of Mrs. Johnson from Colorado, who woke up one morning to find a mountain lion napping on her porch. Or the story of Mr. Thompson from California, who while out for his routine job came face to face with a bobcat. And let's not forget the school in Arizona that had to be put on lockdown when a jaguar was spotted prowling the campus grounds. These encounters are not just thrilling tales to tell over dinner, but they highlight a growing trend. More and more people in suburban and even urban areas are reporting sightings of big cats, creatures we normally associate with the wilderness. These instances, while not commonplace, are becoming increasingly frequent due to a combination of factors such as habitat loss, climate change, and the adventurous nature of these magnificent creatures. As we expand our cities and towns, we encroach on their natural habitats, leading them to venture into our neighborhoods driven by curiosity, hunger, or the need for a new territory. But before we panic and start a big cat neighborhood watch, it's important to remember that these animals are not typically a threat to humans unless provoked or cornered. They are simply trying to survive in a world that is rapidly changing around them. The key takeaway here is that we share our world with a myriad of different creatures, big and small. And as we continue to expand our settlements, we need to find a way to cohabit with these animals. So the next time you see a suspiciously large cat-like figure prowling your neighborhood, remember the stories of Mrs. Johnson, Mr. Thompson, and the Arizona School. We live in a world where it's possible to find big cats in our neighborhoods, but with understanding, respect, and a little bit of precaution, we can learn to share our spaces with these majestic creatures. suburbs. But while mums and dads have been petrified for the safety of their offspring, one expert says they've got nothing to worry about. Far from being an invasion of black panthers and blighty, the former zookeeper believes the culprit is a creature that most of us are already pretty familiar with. They suddenly see what they're seeing. Big cat 
photographs in UK countryside as a letter it says Carol Baskin. A group of documentary filmmakers are sure that there's a group of women around the British countryside and they recommend the film that Carol Baskin disagrees. The new documentary film and pair of retaining filmmakers with a photographic evidence of this dark fur feline who appears to show a large cat lion in the long grass in Staffordshire. As you can probably guess from the title, documentary makers think the big cat have plenty of prey out in the wild they can go after, but if you were to find yourself face to face with a cat, don't run because then you're going to look like prey. So you should try to make yourself look as big as possible. In my case, and I wouldn't recommend this to people, but in my case if I have 